so much. 4,000 subscribers. Super cute. Fun and flirty. Alright. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. I'm gonna start a day in my life vlog impromptu again. I don't know why I do this to myself, but here we are. I always feel like they end up being the ones that are the most interesting slash realistic. So here we are, 1.30 on a Wednesday. I don't have work today. I took a comp day because I had a final comp day to use and I had a few other calls to take today. So it kind of just worked out perfectly. I'm currently sitting at my desk watching Carter because she just uploaded a new video. Also, before I even get into this video, sorry I have a lot of energy today. I drank a massive cold brew. I just want to thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. That is insane. I remember starting my YouTube channel in May thinking that it would be cool if I even had like a hundred subscribers and now I have over a thousand and honestly my I don't even think that it's hit me yet like I can't really even wrap my head around the fact that like a thousand people over a thousand people watch me on the internet but I am just insanely grateful and none of this would be possible without you guys so I just wanted to say thank you so much and I appreciate all of you and I love you all and you are all amazing you rock I just wanted to say thank you because I am extremely grateful for this opportunity and it's just weird to think that YouTube wasn't even in my life less than a year ago and now it's literally half of my life so here we are I want to show you guys my OOTD because I honestly think it's kind of a vibe this sweater has been sitting in my closet for two years now it's like a polo brown sweater because I didn't know what to pair it with I was like I always thought that maybe I'd pair it with a skirt or something but I never actually knew what to do with it and today I tucked it and paired it with some high-waisted mom jeans and I honestly kind of think this is a vibe super cute fun and flirty I love the color of it these jeans are from Zara I don't even know where this sweater is from. It might be from like the polo outlet near my house in Virginia. But I just wanted to show this because I think it's super cute. So if you guys have any hidden sweaters in your closet, maybe just roll them up, tuck them under your bra, throw on some jeans, and make it a whole look. I am super hungry and also I'm kind of craving another coffee, but I'm already pretty wired. And thinking about the fact that another coffee is probably not my smartest move. But I know that I only have a little bit of cold brew left, so I feel like I'm saving room in my fridge fridge if I just drink the cold brew now. You know what I mean? I feel like this is kind of how my mind works. Coffee it is. Let's chat while I make this coffee. I want to make like a bunch of different content for you guys and so I need video recommendations and video suggestions on what you guys want to see from me, videos that you're interested in. I really love filming vlogs but I feel like they're getting super repetitive and i don't know if that's annoying to you guys but i feel like when i'm editing the vlogs i'm like i literally just edited this exact same vlog last week and i don't i don't know i feel like i just don't want to put out content that's bad and i know just because content is repetitive doesn't mean that it's bad but i don't want to like bore you guys so if there's any specific videos that you guys want to see from me whether it's another morning routine another night routine my any other routine video any other sit down video any sort of fashion video, can't do travel because obviously we're in the middle of pandemic, but any any other kind of video that's not vlog related and you guys wanna see, comment it down below because I'm open for suggestions at this point. I just don't want my content to get super repetitive and I like kind of wanna like expand my content a little bit. I've been having a creative brain block lately and I also want to create content that you guys wanna see. So let me know. All right, yeah. See, I told you I only had a little bit left, so. I feel like I'm just saving room in my fridge at this point, even though I don't need this cold brew. I also need to buy more of this, I think. Ooh. So satisfying. Mm-mm-mm. Super good. Now I need to make lunch. I just finished eating lunch. I didn't show you what I ate because I eat the same thing every single week. It's the rice from Trader Joe's that you guys know I'm obsessed with. Before I continue on with this video, I do want to mention that this video is in collaboration with Desiana Jewelry. Beauty Desiana Jewelry was kind enough to send me three of their pieces, so I'm actually wearing all of them right now. I'm wearing two earrings that I was sent in my first hole and my second hole, and then I'm also wearing the ring. These pieces are beautiful, and I was so excited when they reached out to me to collaborate with Vita Siana Jewelry is a company that provides high quality jewelry at an affordable price. All of the jewelry is 18 karat gold plated, so it looks super expensive, but you're getting 
a super expensive look for a super affordable price. Vitaciana provides a lifetime warranty and they only use ethically sourced materials so that's another huge perk of wearing Vitaciana jewelry. I personally love jewelry that looks super expensive but is super affordable because like most people, I have a very high quality taste and I will literally walk into the store and pick up the most expensive item on the shelf without even realizing it's the most expensive item on the shelf. It's truly a blessing and a curse. So when I find brands that are affordable and look expensive, they are my go-to brands. And I would say that Vita Siana is definitely this brand. I have a discount code with them. You can use my code Hannah Grace for 10% off your order. I'll have a link to the website as well as a link to all of the pieces that I am wearing today in the description down below. So head to their website now, order some super affordable and cute and bougie pieces and we can twin. I feel like I have so much to do today and literally no motivation to do it. And honestly, that's been kind of the theme of this week. I had a really Monday-ish Monday. I feel like I had a Monday-ish Tuesday and I'm honestly feeling like I'm having a Monday-ish Wednesday and all I want to do is lay in bed and watch Station 19, new show that I started on Hulu, which basically incorporate, it's like incorporated into Grey's Anatomy as well. If you know Miranda Bailey, her husband works for Station 19 after he leaves the hospital. That's a spoiler. I apologize. If you haven't seen the show yet, please don't come at me, but I'm just trying to explain how like the show ties together. Basically, Station 19 delivers some of their rescue patients to the hospital when they need surgery, so you'll from time to time like see Meredith Grey, Miranda Bailey's in it a lot because obviously her husband works for the station and a bunch of the other doctors, but it's so good and I'm addicted. I started last night and I'm already on like episode 7 and they're an hour long each, so if that says anything. The show's very good, but I do have a lot of work today. Like I was saying, I have a thousand page paper to write for grad school. I need to take some Instagram pics for a brand collaboration. And then I also need to review a project for grad school as well because we have a group project due this week and it's like a video project, which is right up my alley. Obviously I do YouTube, so. This video project shouldn't be too hard, but I just feel like getting all the pieces together and getting everyone on the same page will be the most difficult portion of that project. So I do need to get a jump start. Honestly, while I have natural daylight out, I need to do the brand collaboration pictures. I already have a vision in my head. I just need to complete it. So maybe I'll show you guys the behind the scenes of that. This is what we're working with. Gotta love it. <laughs> You drank too much You said I only want you, only want you When we woke up, you were gone Now that that is done, the lighting in here is terrible. I actually need to wash my masks because I haven't washed them in a bit and they're getting pretty gross and I think honestly they're starting to break out my face. So let's do a little mask washing session in the sink. I'm not sure if this is the proper way to wash masks. Honestly, I should probably Google it, but I ain't got time for that. All right, we're filling up the sink. I put a little bit of Tide in. I think I'm just gonna hand wash it with my hands, I guess. I don't really know any other way to do it. If you guys know like the proper way to wash masks, definitely let me know because I'm pretty sure this is not it, but this is what we're working with at the moment. Right, now we're just gonna hang them up to dry. I might have to dry that with like a blow dryer later because I am planning on leaving my apartment and now I don't have a mask to wear outside. So I'm probably gonna have to blow dry these later, but I'm gonna let them air dry for just a little bit, I guess. Not me waiting 24 hours before my papers due to actually start it when I've known about it for six weeks. Mm -hmm. Just girly things. Yeah, I have a paper due tomorrow for grad school, like I mentioned earlier, and I've known about it for six weeks since the beginning of the course, and I'm just now starting it. So I'm gonna actually lay in bed, turn on some background TV that I probably won't pay attention to, and try to crank at least half this paper out because it is due tomorrow night. And I also have a project meeting tomorrow, and I have work tomorrow. So I don't know if you can feel the stress radiating, but I do it to myself sometimes, I, I truly do. You only came through cause you had nothing to do When we woke up, you were gone You said you'd never ever let me go But you just didn't wanna be alone Sometimes it's better to be lonely than to fuck up somebody Alright, so a little bit of an update. Let me turn this down. I have been extremely unproductive. No shocker there. I only completed like one paragraph of my entire paper, but uh, I guess one paragraph is like better than 
nothing parents called me and so i talked to them for a little bit on facetime i've just been hanging out i got sucked into station 19 again i knew that was gonna happen if i put it on and i still put it on so like i said i tend to do this these things to myself i need to pack my bag for the night because i'm spending the night at my boyfriend's apartment so i need to pack like pajamas and not but for tomorrow and my backpack with my laptop and stuff like that and i need to do that fairly soon because i think i'm headed over there probably within the next hour or so. So I need to get all of that in line, clean up the kitchen a little bit before I leave, you know, just clean up my space so they don't come back to like a dirty apartment. That's, there's nothing worse than that, I don't think. Alright, let's see if these face masks that I cleaned earlier are they're soaking wet. Alright, time to whip out the hair dryer. This should be interesting. <laughs> damp so that'll be an interesting situation later when i have to put that on to go outside my building i honestly need to invest in more masks but i feel like i can never find ones that fit my face those are the only two that i've found that have been able to like actually whoa the lighting i apologize that have been actually like able to fit my face properly without being way too big on me or too loose or like fit like really weirdly if that makes any sense so that should be something that I do, is to study up on which masks fit my face and which don't. I'm getting ready to head out, so I am going to go ahead and end off this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. Don't forget to use my code HANNAGRACE for 10% off your Vita Siana orders. Go grab your affordable, high-quality jewelry now, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. This is the weirdest exit ever. <laughs>